Hi everybody, Stephen Flag here, and welcome back to Flagcraft Mage Quest, where, if you remember last episode, we ended off by uh, looking around for some cyan and light blue magical flowers, because we needed the petals to continue on with Batania. You know where I found the cyan flowers? Oh, look, there's more growing. Right over here. Those are the cyan flowers, and there were some light blue just down there. So I, I actually I went around for about half an hour, collecting them all up. Well, I've got a load of those petals now, almost a stack of each of them. So we are ready to continue on in our book. So we were working on the Mana Star, which uh, apparently, what does it do again? It will alert me when my mana consumption is outpacing my production. Useful when managing large systems. I don't really have a large system yet, but it's the next quest in the book, so let's get to it. I need the Mana Star. Light blue, a cyan, a green, and a red. So I've got all of those. I need the pedal. I need the pedal. I need the bucket. Right there water in there. Now it's... Ooh, right, we just want to be careful how we do this. So, there's one, two, three, four. Perfect! Now we just need to toss in some seeds. Mana star, motherfucker! <laughs> now, did, uh, well, how does that work? Does my mana star... When placed next to a mana... Okay, so I have to put it next to the mana pool. Okay. Okay, pick one reward. The fertilizer or the reward? We're going to take the reward bag, of course. All right, let's, let's see what we got. Uh, let's... I don't think we really need that wand, do we? Is it, is it any use to us at all? 64 acacia wood! Well... Okay, that's not bad. It's 64 wood, and it's actually a, a different color wood. So, okay, that's cool. So I should put this... here? And then does it have to be linked? Is it... What does it do? It's supposed to alert me? Is that correct? I mean, is it in the right spot? Do I have to move it one away? I don't know. No, it doesn't really say. Alright, let's see what's next. Bum, 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 There's that Batania Thomcraft support. We don't have to move on to that because we're not doing Thomcraft yet. So we've got Mobile Mana, Alchemy Catalyst, and Rune Theory. Oh, the runes. I forgot about the runes in Batania. Oh. Okay, I suppose... Well, okay, let's take a look at... I bet Rune Theory is going to be really difficult. Runes allow you to create extremely powerful tools, baubles, and additional flowers. Rune crafting is the process in which items are combined on a runic altar with a small amount of mana. To do this, you must first create a runic altar. In order to give mana to the runic altar, you must point a mana spreader in the direction of the runic altar. The fastest way to do this is to place a mana spreader adjacent to a mana pool and the runic altar in front of the mana spreader. Mana will be transferred directly from the pool into the altar at an extremely fast rate. Okay? And to place items on the altar, simply right-click them onto the altar, shift right-click them with an empty hand to remove them. Uh, when the desired recipe is on the altar, click the altar with the wand of the forest to start the process. When finished, throw one living rock onto the altar. Oh, all this stuff that I needed explained to me. Remember how hard that was in Batania? So we need to make a runic altar. Are we actually going to attempt this one? We may have to do the mobile mana one. Runic altar. Oh! Oh, we can do it with a mana diamond! And living rock. And a mana diamond. We can... We can 100% make that! Let's make it! A whole stack of. Was that right? Rock? Yeah? Well, holy crap! <laughs> we got our runic altar! Look at that! Claim reward! 
Oh yeah, runic altar, yo. Oh, I just laid it down. Oh, I didn't want to lay it down. That was a bad idea. Oh, good. Thank God I can pick it up again. I got a carrot, a poisonous potato, some wheat, and a tiny potato mask. Cosmetic, equipable, equipable in the amulet slot. Really? Where's the, where's the amulet slot? That's, that's not it. No. Where the heck is the amulet slot? Do I have an guide server client normal amulet? All right, I, I don't know how that works. It's from Batania too. Press B to open the bottles menu. All right, get out B. Uh, no, that's not the bottles menu. Okay, I'm gonna have to figure out how to get into the bottles menu. Why well, just do that? Can't? Can I not? Bobbles! Right there! Oh! Ah! Okay! What does that actually do for me? Like, nothing? Well, it's kind of dumb. <laughs> I don't, I don't want to wear that. <laughs> I really don't want to wear that. Uh, so where are we going to put our runic altar? Um... Well... We'll have to create another mana spreader if I want to do it like that, or... Yeah, we're gonna have to create another mana spreader. I'd like to make my mana pool... I know you can expand on the mana pool and make an advanced mana pool. Do I have to wait for a mission? For a quest to allow me to do that. I may have to, it looks like. Oh my god, look at how much stuff has opened up in here! There's so much stuff to do! Terra Steel. Oh, okay, that's getting into weapons. Let me just look at this one again. Um Yeah, it doesn't show me being able to create a a larger mana pool but I know I can create a larger mana pool what is it called mana pool is this, it's a diluted diluted mana pool maybe I don't know I don't know I'm confused I'm confused let's let's just get on I'm, I'm wasting an awful lot of time here guys I'm sorry uh, so let's move on to Let's take a look at mobile mana. As your collection of botanical baubles and tools grows, you will find that most of them require some form of mana in your inventory. A mana tablet can hold a great deal of mana, which can be used by equipped items directly, or can be used to transport mana between two mana pools. To give mana to a mana pool, make sure that the mana pool is set on giving mana to items with the Wand of the Forest. Okay, uh, a task for the... Okay, yeah, okay. So we gotta make a mana tablet. How do we make a mana tablet? Mana tablet? That's co-creative. Mana tablet, right there. We need... Oh. Oh, well, no, actually, we can do that. I, I have another diamond. Diamond and living rock all around it. Beauty. Let's do it! We're going to complete as many quests as we can, guys. I mean, we got we got quests completed last episode. We got a bunch completed this episode. God, I guess that means we got a whole bunch of episodes full of chuffa coming up here soon. Uh, let's just make it right here. Drop that diamond there. Oh, no, uh, I'm sorry. Uh, no. <laughs> no, that's not what we want to do. We want to drop this into here first. Oh yeah. Now we can do it. So we'll just use this workbench in here. Uh, like so. And living rock all around it. And hey, what the hell do you know? We got ourselves a mana fucking tablet. Yo. 100%. Our reward is 
another mana tablet. So I've got two mana tablets now? Okay, looking good. What else have we opened up here? We got sparks, we got the... Uh, I really want to make that alchemy catalyst, but we can't make it because we can't get any of the materials that we need right now in any way that I know of. Um, let's, let's drop our mana tablets off here because I'm, I'm really not going to use those. That's Batania too, we'll put that in there. Drop off our living rock. Stupid poisonous potato. The runic altar. Um, I'm actually, I'm not going to lay the runic altar out yet. I'm going to go uh, back and take a look at a few of my old regrowth episodes and see how I had that runic altar set up. Uh, just to, just to, you know, give me a, uh, give me a heads up so I'm not wasting, wasting time and energy by setting it up in one spot and then having to move it again. Um, yeah. Let's take a look at what some of these other ones are. We've got, uh, useful baubles. Batania offers a wide variety of baubles to fit almost any playstyle. You may construct two different or the same baubles of the first tier to complete this quest. Most of these baubles will require some form of inventory mana, so increase your mana production if necessary. Okay, so I can make a band of mana, a snowflake pendant, a ring of magnetization, a ring of correction, ring of the mantle, ring of cordata, pyroclast pendant, sojourner sash, oh! Okay, let's... I remember the sojourner sash. I can't remember exactly what it does, but I remember it. Botania. Let's take a look here at all the baubles we can make. Soon as I see them. Where are all the baubles, yo? Okay, here we go. There's that band of mana. Band of ore. Okay, how do we make a band of mana? Four mana steel and a mana tablet. Okay, that's easy. Now, I'm. Uh, what does a band of mana do? <laughs> okay, I, I think the band of mana actually... Uh, gives you a mana, it lets you carry mana around with you in, in the bauble. Like basically you have a, a source of mana. Magnetization, Cordata, Ring of the Mantle, Pyroclast Pendant, what is that? It doesn't say what they do. Snowflake Pendant. I kind of want to make the Sojourner Sash though, if I can find it. Because I do remember having one of those before and I think I liked it. <laughs> Where's the Sojourner Sash? Stupid potato mask. Uh, look at all this Batania stuff. This is great. Alright, I'm going to have to do it like this. S-O-U-J? Yeah, there it is. <laughs> okay, the Sojourner Sash is me. Oh. Oh. Yeah, that ain't happening. Okay, how do we make the Ring of Mana again? Ring of Mana. <laughs> Where is the Ring of Mana? Magnetization, Cordata. How do you make the magnetization one? I have to make a magnetizing lens. Uh... Is it not Ring of Mana? Is it Mana Ring? I bet it's Mana Ring. Loki, Odin, Thor, what? Really? Magnetization, Nutrition... Oh my god, how do I... Mana... Ring. No? There, band. Band of mana. Okay, we can make that. Four mana steel ingots and a mana tablet. You know what? And let's let's actually make that before we end the episode. Because I wasted so much time here just gabbing away, guys. I'm really sorry. I should be uh, more planned out. But then that takes away the... Uh, takes away the adventure of it all. Because if I'm too planned out, I'm not going to be surprised when stuff happens. I don't want to be surprised. I don't want you guys to see me get surprised, or hear me get surprised. 
Yeah! Okay, and then we'll go in here. We'll take one of these mana tablets. Drop it up in the corner. Four pieces of mana steel, and we now have a band of mana. Oh yeah. And... Now do I have to do anything with this band of mana? To link it? I can't remember. Ah! Where'd it go? Where'd my band of mana go? Oh, did I just put it on? Oh, I just put it on. <laughs> I'm stupid. Okay, uh... Oh, we've got to make one more. And why did it also... Why is it also... I gotta make one more. I gotta make more rings! Damn it! This isn't Tolkien here. At least my flowers are still alive. <sighs> okay. It looks like we're gonna have to make another ring. 